everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Lala hi welcome welcome to my channel and if you're returning then hey what's up how you doing what so today we have an exciting video because we are doing a luxury handbag unboxing this is my first bag from Brandon Blackwood I've been wanting one for a while now. I just didn't know which one I was gonna get, but I ended up getting this bag that I'm gonna show you today as my first bag, and I'm so excited to show y'all. So I'm gonna show it to you guys, talk about it a little bit, give you some details on the bag specifically, and tell you a little bit more about some bags I wanna get from them in the future, and you know, the little things that I've learned about the brand. So if you're interested and you wanna see me unbox and review my brand new bag from Brandon Blackwood, then just keep on watching okay so if you are not familiar with Brandon Blackwood you need to get familiar go check out the Instagram he has amazing things on his website it's black owned they have everything from bags shoes clothing accessories minimum clothing let me take that back because I've seen him make like specially designed outfits for some celebrities like Beyonce, Serena Williams, Ice Spice, but I don't see clothes on his website, but they do have swimwear. So definitely get familiar, check it out. I know that I am a returning customer because I love the quality of this bag. So let's get into it. So here's the box. It comes with like a letter in there. It's basically thanking you for your purchase. So here is the dust bag. It's very thick, this thick cloth material. It reminds me of the Jock Moose dust bags. Yes, I care about dust bags. I don't know about y'all, but I do care about my dust bags because I keep them forever. And I love how this one feels. It feels really, really good. Ooh, I know, right? I know. So this is my mini Kendrick trunk bag. I got it in the crystal leopard print they have plenty of trunk bags check out the website if you're into it most people when i talk to them about brandon blackwood they're interested in getting a trunk bag they have so many different styles and materials check them out but this is the one i decided to go with the crystals when i say it's so pretty this video is not doing it justice let me see if i turn off the light you see like this darkness that you're seeing over here that's what i want you to see like i'm not getting it for this part right now but it's so oh there it is it's so sexy wow yes i said sexy it's given sexy to me it looks a little brown on camera but in person the rhinestones are black and a tannish brownish color there you go now you can see it it is over a full cotton canvas with leather detailing. The sides and the top are like hard, but the front and the back are like really plushy, really squishy. If you guys could see, I love that. It's so fun. <laughs> and then we have the studs at the bottom. I don't know what these are called, but I love when my bags have them because I really feel like it's just protecting the bottom of my bag. And then the hardware on this bag, it's called silver metalware. Obviously it looks like a rusted gold color, but when I saw the name, I was like, what is this? I looked it up online and this is what it looks like. To open her, you just pull up the B. So. And it doesn't open too wide, but this is a small bag, so <laughs> you don't need it to open like all the way up. It does go crossbody with an adjustable strap. I actually haven't used the strap. I only used the bag one time. So I'll insert a clip so you guys can see how long it is on me. And the inside, I can't show you that good, but it is black. It's a micro suede material. And on the back wall of the purse, it has the Brandon Blackwood patch, which is like a leather material, the same material as this. And then here on the top handle, it has Brandon Blackwood New York printed on it. Well, it's not printed, it's like engraved, like that engraved leather look. Y'all know what I mean. Before I go into my opinion on the bag, let me give you guys the price information. So this specific bag retails for $285. I did catch a sale on Juneteenth, so I was able to get it for $125. 
but I did see trunks on their website anywhere from between $200 and $385 besides one exclusive one that they had the ombre salvador lizard it's like a leather lizard trunk that one retails for eight hundred dollars but i believe it's sold out i love the price point like when i saw him starting to work with different celebrities i was like oh my gosh he's gonna like skyrocket the pricing i don't know if he's gonna like change anything soon so i wanted to at least get a bag before that happened but it seems like he's not gonna really go crazy with the pricing one thing i did notice is that he does have bags that do reach a higher amount for example the most expensive bag is this one called the mega kiwi sorry if i'm saying it wrong the mega this bag retails for eleven hundred dollars but it's out of stock and then the most expensive bag that they do have in stock is called the bamboo bee tote it goes for $1,000. I love the price range, but I do think it's a good idea that he has certain bags of a higher price point. You know, that's a way for him to wee his way in like the more upscale luxury market. I know some of his bags are available in Neiman Marcus. So I feel like if he has like those higher priced bags, that's a good place to put them. You know what I mean? So even though those bags are a little bit more, I feel like that's still affordable compared to some of the bags behind me. So my opinions on this, this bag I absolutely love it there's not a flaw that I can tell you about this bag I wore it out once already and I got compliments I got compliments from the valet girl compliments from the lady at the restaurant like people kept telling me how cute it was and I'm just like thank you I know and if you're returning you know how my boyfriend is with bags he even liked it so if he liked it i'm like oh yeah i did that i think it's very unique it's not your normal everyday bag it's obviously something that you're gonna wear to a special occasion or like a night out because it's so tiny and it's not this is not practical for every day so buying something like this you know this is not gonna be your everyday bag that you wear to work and to school that you gotta pack you know your makeup in your lunch or whatever you need this is specifically for like a night out or like an event that you just need a statement piece for your outfit like that's what this is i believe that it's worth the price point in my opinion i don't know if it's handmade i should probably look that up but if it was i would charge more because <laughs> when i see it it's just so well put together there's not a thread out of place it's even there's nothing like funky about it that i can like point out the leather is not flimsy it's very symmetrical clean neatly threaded it's perfect so 285 that's a good price i would have charged like 500 for this if it was my bag <laughs> 10 out of 10 love this bag so happy with my purchase i do not regret it one bit and yeah this bag won me over i'm gonna be a returning customer i already see the next bag that i want which is this one it's called the madison bag it goes for 280 it's so stunning to me it gives me like beach summer vibes vacation like you wear on a night out on your vacation they had it in some funky colors and like a green i really wish they had it in like like a tan like the color of this brush and the last bag that I've had my eye on from Brandon Blackwood is the Naya bag I didn't put the price in my notes but I remember it being a little bit more expensive than the other bags I feel like this bag is more comparable to the other luxury brands that are on the market it reminds me of that one brand we're not gonna speak of but I'll show you a picture we don't support them on this channel I'm sorry but I like that one in the black with the gold hardware and I also like it in the Python. There's like a Python print that they have. I like that one too. So that is it for my Brandon Blackwood review unboxing. Like I said, I have no complaints about this bag. I really love it. It'll be a part of my collection for a long time because I know I'm not gonna wear it too, too much, but I'm gonna make sure I get a good use out of it. And I have nothing like this. I see girls that have bags with crystals and rhinestones and stuff on them. I have nothing of the sort, so this would be my first. And I feel like to have a bag with a lot of bling on it, it has to be like done right because you can go anywhere and get a bag that's shiny with rhinestones on it. But this is so like chic to me. And I wasn't feeling animal print for a long time, but this I can dig. So that is all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Do y'all have anything from Brandon Blackwood? If you do, let me know down below so I can go check it out. Are you planning on getting anything? Just tell me everything. If you haven't done so already, please don't hesitate to give your girl a thumbs up. Please.
give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below i already told y'all what to comment before this i said it wrong but leave me a comment down below like the video thank y'all so much for tuning in today and i can't wait to see you all in my next video